What's up? It's your boy G. <laughs> test, test, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Run. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy G. Warrior. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today is a very special day for me. Um, I have sold my Power Commando 5 and I bought a new uh, Dynatic Fusion from Sam Vallis. Thank you Sam so much for hooking me up on that one. And I'm going to show you today how to uninstall the Power Commando 5 and actually extract the map that is on the Power Commando with the software in order to load it into your next uh, fuel tuner, which in my case is the Dynatic Fusion. If you are new to the channel, and you like this video hit the subscribe button you know give me a thumbs up comment below and i would say let's get right to it it's your boy gd warrior all right guys i'm gonna show you now how to um use the software in order to extract the uh, power commander uh, map so first you want to do you're gonna go to the website you're gonna download the uh, power commander software you will install it next step you're going to take your usb cable right here and here's the power commander, you're gonna plug it in. Okay, you're gonna see a green light over here, perfect. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you are going to save it. So you got, you, you, I have my map here, you see all these numbers, both cylinders are tuned correctly, and now you're gonna go to file, and you're gonna hit save map. All right, so let's call it the G, the map and let's save it on my desktop just to make sure I can find it All right and let's close it let's see if we have the correct map let's open it up uh, just just hit the X button right here yep and we got both we got the map in here and everything is good. So now we just extracted the Power Commander map. Make sure you know where your map is. I'll put it on my desktop so I can load it on uh, later on into my new Dynatech Fusion. So this was about it. Now let's go ahead and uninstall the Power Commander. All right guys, first step is over. We um, extracted the Power Commander map and now it's time to um, uninstall the uh, power command. You need to take off the gas tank because the wiring goes underneath the tank. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You have actually two um, nuts right here. My thing broke off, so I have only one. <laughs> and uh, so let's take this one off first. And there. These are very um, fragile, I should say, these, these fucking is here and they break off so don't over tighten it okay this one is off all right guys let's let's take the gas tank off so what you're gonna do is um, I have a left side cleanup so I am skipping a lot of these steps here because I don't have these parts anymore however um if you do not have a left side cleanup you will most likely have a cover right here which you will have to take off so you you know take off these two bolts that are in the cover and then you will unplug the dry brake which is around here just disconnect it and then you'll be able to um, take the tank off. However, um, I have a dry brake, a quick release one, so I already unplugged it here to make it fast, so all I gotta do is take this off, see? And <clears throat> then you wanna go to the front, you know, unplug this little knob right here, and then there is another one, this one right here, see that? And unplug this as well. All right, guys, so these, cables here that go to the tank. These have to be removed. This one has to be removed right here. And uh, now we are ready to take off the tank. Also, don't forget to uh, remove this right brake right here. All right guys, next step. Now, my power commander wires are like basically hidden behind the, um, you know, side intake tube right here. So let's take off these bolts. 
and then we'll have access to uh, the wires. Anyway, so here's the video. We are routing the cable and it basically comes out here, right? And then this one splits into three or four connections. So let me show you. Here is the cable coming from the power commander. And then this one goes in here. You know, that's the one that goes from your bike's cable into the green and white connection. Into the All right, here it is unplugged. All right, so remember this one, it comes from your bikes cable plugs into the one with the yellow brown reddish connector all right all right next plug <clears throat> so again we follow the power commander down all right we got this one unplugged and let's go to the next one let's grab the one that goes inside okay so we'll follow it you got a red one, I think, what is this, white, brown, sorry for the video. There is a brown one in there, and two white ones goes in here and connects to this. So let me unplug it so we can see it better. All right, here it is unplugged. So this is the power commander side. I see it's, it's broken off here, but it's not a big deal. Okay, this is how it looks like. Here are the colors. Trying to get the focus in here. So red. All right, I got the flashlight on. So one more time, here's the one from, that goes into the power commander, and then this one goes into this plug. I have it zip tight. But it goes all the way there to the other side. See that? That's the one. I think this is your throttle body sensor, to be honest. Uh, there's a green cable in there. White. That's how it looks like. All right, next one. Power commander cable, right? We're gonna and like track it down. We got two up, uh, two disconnected. Actually, yeah, two. So it's my cable. Now the third one splits into two, I think. I'll show you which one. So you see how it goes up here, this way, this way, this way, and then to that big one right here. See this one. So let's remove this. Okay. Check it down one more time. Okay, yeah. So see, here it splits into this connector. One with the yellow, blue, and I think it's either white or gray. So let's remove this connection right here. All right, I just unplugged it for, for you. This side that goes to the power commander. Is, what is this, red or orange, gray and black with uh, white housing and it goes into this one right here. Blue, yellow and I guess gray. And that's it. Here are your connections. Now we're gonna remove it and I will um, unplug it now from the battery. All right guys, so I unplugged the power commander. We got all the cables out and now it's time to remove it from the battery and then we are ready to go. All right guys, um, so we unplugged all the connections from the power commander. I got them right here in my hand. Now, when I said unplug it from the battery, it doesn't have a positive going to, into the uh, battery, however, when you follow the line, it has a ground wire, which mine goes right there. See the bolt in the back? This is why you have to um, unscrew the ground wire and then we'll be done. So let's do that real quick and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. All right guys, this was it. Power Commander 5. 
be installed. Pretty easy job, correct? Well, now you know how to uh, deinstall a Power Commander 5. And if you have any questions, just hit me up, you know, comment below. Make sure you hit the, uh, the like button, it really helps the channel. And um, other than that, you know, subscribe. And I see you guys in the next one. It's your boy, GD Warrior.